Do it now. Let's go. Let me out. Your backpack that's on the table. Next, you're going to open your box up. Open it up. Hang it on your box. There's a lock on it. It has a chain on it. You're going to wear it like a necklace. Just put it on. Let's go. I am Pedro Como, and tonight I'm going to be going through and explaining every item that new recruits receive here tonight in their Diddy box. Great Lakes RTC Night of Arrival. Diddy is going to be the first issue of uniform items that new recruits receive once they come here to Great Lakes RTC for basic training. It's going to be uniform items, hygiene products, some shoes, anything that they might need here, basic necessities that they need throughout boot camp. So what was your memory of Diddy issue? What was it like when you went through it? For me personally, it was very shocking because I've never had to move this fast, like getting dressed and putting on all of these different outer garments and weathers and covers and hats and things like that. Well, first thing we're going to start with, we'll start with the socks. They're pro feet, moisture socks, keeping feet from sweating. Just cotton athletic socks, yes. Do you get any more like thicker socks since it does get real cold here in, here in the Chicago area? Um, no, they just just um, able to put two pair on if it gets too cold. The next item will be shoes. They get brand new pair of shoes so that everyone have a similar brand shoe. They use these shoes during PT sessions, doing outside runs, inside runs at Freedom Hall. So now they have an option of wearing tennis shoes throughout boot camp. These are SAS running shoes, but we have like three or four different options. Next, we're going to go in what's called the knit bag. The knit bag is where we collect the laundry. But for now, we're holding all the items that they're going to be issued here at night of arrival. Inside the large knit bag, we have sweats. We call them Smurfs here at um, Great Lakes RTC Boot Camp. And it's basically just a sweatsuit, top and bottom. Your Smurfs, it's just a funny nickname because they all look like little Smurfs walking around base. All right, next here we have PT shorts. These are what they use when they go to Freedom Hall to do workouts, when they do the little exercise in-house. They're just basic shorts with little pockets on it. The ID card holder that's on the inside here. The way they can put their little ID in there when they're wearing them. They don't have to have a whole wallet or carry in their hand or anything like that. They also use these when they go and do the initial swim. Really? Yes. Not, they're not like a bathing suit or like swim trunks? No. Next item would be the yellow PT shirt. These shirts are used for PT with the PT shorts that we received earlier. Just a cotton material with the navy on the front left. Big Navy in the front back. The collar's not too tight to me personally. I know they just did an upgrade, so they got a new shipment in. I don't know if it's just the fabric or the material they use or if they switched it, but I have not had any issues with the shirts myself personally. Next, we have the brown T-shirts, the Coyote Brown. These here are going to be the one that you wear under your Type 3, which is the uniform that I'm wearing now. It's a cotton T-shirt, and you just wear it under your Type 3s. Next here we have the skivvies known as underwear and they're just a basic plain white underwear for the male and female recruits to wear. And later on in boot camp you are able to buy regular boxers if you would like but these are like just standard issued boxers that I mean briefs that every recruit gets once they come through boot camp. Are these comfortable or are these like I mean they look kind of like what my dad wore in like 1983. Boot camp is temporary it's only the basic things that you need. So if you can deal with these for two to three months and then go, go about your life and get whichever ones you want, these are like the bare minimum that you need. How many pairs of skinnies do you get? You get eight pair. The laundry gets done by the recruits themselves. They have what's called a laundry crew. They collect all the uniform items that they wear throughout the day and they turn it into the laundry crew. Laundry crew have these bags and they just take them up. After they do hygiene, they put them, they do laundry in-house, then they pass it back out later on in the nighttime. Now here is the large white knit bag that I was telling you about earlier. You're gonna stencil this also. And this is also where you put your dirty laundry once you get to the ship. So you're issued it here and you can, once again, you're gonna put your name on it and all your dirty laundry will just go inside. It opens up like a little laundry bag. We have shower shoes. The shower shoes are used for when they're going and take a shower hygiene. They're just little shower shoes so they can go from their rack to the shower and then back and then they can change into their, their socks and their shoes. Next we have the backpack. The backpack is issued because they're going to have multiple items they need to carry. Up next we have the hydration tool, your water bottle, and pretty much you're just going to put your name on it and then you're going to carry this around everywhere you go whenever you leave. That way you're able to hydrate as required. Why is hydration such a big deal? It's, it's a big deal because we do a lot of PT. 
Even though it's winter time, your body still needs to hydrate. A lot of people think just because it's winter time, I'm not sweating, that I'm not losing water, but you actually are losing just as much as you do in the summer. They have um, the electrolytes and the Pedialyte for muscle recovery to help you with the soreness, and you're able to drink that also inside of here. Next item we have here is going to be the glow belt. Each recruit is issued a glow belt. That way, once they're out by themselves and they're not with the division, they're able to be identified. All it is is it goes around your backpack, or if you don't have your backpack with you, it goes around your waist. And it's just like a little belt so you can be identified when you're walking throughout the streets. Next here we have the garment bag. The garment bag is used to put your dress uniforms in. That way they don't get dirty or any stains or anything like that on it. When you're traveling, when you're walking around, when you're going from different commands, and it just unzips. You put your little um, hangers in there and your dress uniform to go in. You zip it up and then you're able to hang it up to prevent it, them from getting dirty or dust or anything like that on them. They don't get their dress uh, uniforms issued tonight, do they? No, they do that in week two. Next here we have the Blue Jackets menu. It's all the important da dates and history of the United States Navy. And it's for them to read so they can study and have a basic knowledge of what happened with the recruits and sailors before them. Are there like key aspects of that book that every recruit needs to learn fast? Yes, there is, but there's also another book that they are gonna be issued when they take their first test. But this here goes more in depth. The one that they're gonna get is specifically just for here. Is this something that recruits keep with them uh, after they leave? Or? Yes, me personally, I still have mine. I still have my stamp here with my name on it, division number. I still have my whole C bag with everything that I was issued when I left here. Why do you keep this book? Why do you keep that stuff? It's history. I want to be able to say, hey, I had all these things because I see that things are changing. They don't have things that we had and we don't have things that the ones before us had. So I like to keep part of history with me. Next we have here the Diddy box with a lot more items in it. The first one here is a small white knit bag. And on the inside of this small white knit bag, we have pens and sharpies. The pens are gonna be standard recruit ballpoint pens, and they're just used for them to fill out all their paperwork, all the information, write down whatever they need to write. Here we have sharpies. The sharpies are used to fill out their name on certain items. Later on, when they get their box, they're gonna put their name and things on the box, so they're gonna use a sharpie also. Also inside of this bag, you have a plastic bag with the key. They're gonna be issued a standard master lock for their personal lock. The person to draw, and they're just going to be able to lock it up and carry the key around. The spare key will be kept with the RDCs just in case they lose the one that they're issued that they keep up with throughout boot camp. This lock is used to keep all their valuables, their personal stuff, their wallets, their IDs, their cash, their money, anything that has value. Next, we have the C bag. The C bag is where they're going to put every single item that they're issued tonight here, with the exception of their backpack, and they're just able to put it inside of here. And it also has a spot for their lock to go on here so no one can get inside and mess with their valuables or they lose anything. It has straps here and they just put them on just like a regular backpack. Is that waterproof? Yes, it, um, it has a little flap in here on the inside so when you go in and close it, you can put this over the top so it doesn't, the water doesn't get on the inside also. Next we have the covers, re recruit ball caps. The first one here is going to be the standard navy recruit ball cap. This is gonna be the one that they're gonna wear around unless it's inclement weather, then they're gonna get the watch cap, which they're gonna wear in cold weather. But this one here is the one that they're gonna wear anytime they exit a building. The next one here would be the Navy ball cap. This is gonna be the one that they're gonna get emotional for once they get to graduation and they get to actually wear the one that says that they're actually US Navy sailor. When do they get that Navy ball? So they have to complete what's called battle station. It's very intense. Um, it's all night. They just pretty much do everything that they were taught in the eight plus weeks. And they have to do it all within 24 hours. And they have to go through and complete every single station in order to become a U.S. sailor. And that's when they get the actually put this one on. What did that make you feel like to wear that finally after, after uh, going through all that boot camp? Putting on the Navy cap meant that I was part of a bigger force, part of something that was bigger than myself. Just being able to say, hey, the people, the RDCs that trained me, taught me, I'm able to say, hey, I'm part of a, the U.S. Navy just like you are now. Do a lot of sailors get emotional when they yes, that? Yes, absolutely. A lot of sailors, once they're able to put these on, a lot of them lose their voice because they're crying. 
they're tear-eyed, their eyes are all red. Like I say, it's, it's a big moment for a lot of people. Next here we have a shoe shine kit. Inside this shoe shine kit is gonna be all the items that you need to shine your dress shoes and also your, your drill boots you're gonna be issued at a later date also. It just has the shoe shine polish, the brushes, everything that you need to make your shoes nice and shiny for your inspections or just walking around base. And you get taught how to shine your shoes? Or do you come in and you know how to do it with all these tools and materials? A lot of the recruits, once they come in, a lot of them already know because they look it up on YouTube and things like that. But RDCs, at a certain point in time, they also do like mentoring and they teach the recruits how to shine boots on, give them little tips and pointers on how to actually make it look better. Next here, inside another small white knit bag, the first item is gonna be a stamp kit. The stamp kit is gonna be used for them to put their name on it. It has little letters. They're just gonna put their last name on here with the little letters that are provided. Then they're gonna put their division number down here in the center. And then they're able to stamp every single item that has a spot for them to stamp it. And that way they can keep up with their stuff, identify their stuff when they're doing laundry or just in case anything gets mixed up while they're doing whatever. Also inside of this bag, you have a sewing kit. Just a basic sewing kit. So in just in case one of your buttons pop off, you can put the button back on. You don't have to send it out anywhere and get it done. So you can do sewing jobs on the spot. And this one here, we have the shoelaces. The shoelaces here are gonna be used to tie up some of the items that you're gonna be issued later on in boot camp. We fold it a certain way. We put the shoelaces on there and tie it the way it doesn't come unfolded. The next item <laughs> is chapstick. We have chapstick because you need to keep your lips moisturized from all the water you're gonna be drinking. That way your lips are not getting crusted and they're not bleeding. You have to go to medical and have to be set back in training also. You also have here floss for your hygiene, your personal hygiene. Brush your teeth, wash your face, shower, hygiene, floss your teeth. The way you're taking care of your personal hygiene. Next we have fingernail clippers. You have fingernail clippers for one reason, because of initial swim. You're required to cut your fingernails to a certain length so when you jump in the pool, you don't scratch up any of the instructors or any other recruit while you're in the pool. Also, the Navy has a standard of how short you should have your fingernails. That way you can keep your and maintain your fingernails to a certain, a certain um, length. Inside the next small knit bag, we have laundry detergent so that they can wash all the uniform items that they're issued. Each recruit is issued one bag and they just collect them all at one time and wash all the stuff together. And this is how they get their stuff washed nice and clean. Next here we have towel, a towel. This towel here is for them to dry off once they get out of the, the shower. Just a plain white basic towel. They're also gonna put their name on it because they're gonna turn them in so that they can be sent out to the next to be washed. Next here we have in this little knit bag, we have their stationary stuff, papers, envelopes, stamps, the way that they can write letters home, study material, inside the little checkpoint notebook here for inspections, their way that they can have like little cheat sheets. We also, like I say, we have envelopes here and we have a notepad here so they can write notes and letters and stuff home to their family members and loved ones. The last knit bag we have here, we have two towels for them to bathe with when they get in the shower for hygiene. Two little blue washcloth towels. Wash their face in the morning, whatever. We have lotion because of the windy weather, the bad weather, stay moisturized, keep your skin nice and moisturized. So we have razors so that every recruit can shave every single day. We also have shaving cream, so they can use shaving cream so they don't, their face doesn't get bumped up. They don't have razor bumps or anything like that. So we give them shaving cream so they can shave their face. Here we have body wash. The body wash is so that they can once again, hygiene. Once a day they require the hygiene. When they go to the pool, they hygiene at the pool. And this is the basic soap that they get so they can do their hygiene. Next here we have shampoo. It's shampoo so that they can wash their hair. Like I say, they're gonna go to the pool, so when they come back and they wanna get the chlorine out their hair, they just have shampoo to wash it. Next, we have deodorant. The deodorant is so that they can put on after they hygiene, and they're not, once they get done with PT, they're not all sweaty and stinky so that they can all be around each other. We also have toothpaste, basic toothpaste, so they can, in the morning, whenever they need to, go and brush their teeth. We also have toothbrushes in the bag. You have two toothbrushes, the way you can change out throughout boot camp. And they're just there to, so you can 
recruits can wake up in the morning, brush their teeth before bedtime, brush their teeth, do it whenever they need to. After they do hygiene, they put them, they do laundry in house, then they pass it back out later on in the nighttime. The last item inside this bag is a toothbrush holder. Toothbrush holder is just so that they can put their toothbrush inside of this little plastic tube. That way it's not exposed and getting dirty and getting other dirty items on the toothbrush. Keep it clean. So this is all free, right? Like they don't have to pay for this, right? They don't physically pay here. It's taken out of their first check and then eventually it's put back in their check so that they can, they don't have to actually pay for it. These are all the items that they're issued in their duty box on the first night here at Great Lakes RTC. This is everything they're gonna be they're going to need the basic necessities to begin their journey at RTC.